Hey y'all, welcome to the Christian Bay TV and podcast where Christ and Culture Connects. I pray that you guys are having a wonderful day. As you guys see from the title, today we're talking about when the Lord causes lack and we're coming from the book of Ruth. Y'all, I actually studied the book of Ruth like three days ago and then when I woke up this morning, God was still saying Ruth to me and I actually was going to save this series to do at the end of the month, but God just kept saying it to me this morning. So we're going to start it today. This is a four part series and every day I will be sharing with you guys what God has shown me in the book of Ruth. There's four chapters, so we're going to do one chapter each day. As for today, chapter one, we're going to be talking about when the Lord causes lack. And we all know what lack is. We all have experienced seasons of loss, seasons of lack, seasons of little, not having a lot, but needing, trying to make something out of nothing. We all are very familiar with the word of lack. I don't have to personally know you to know that you have experienced some form of lack or some season of loss. And today we're going to be coming from the book of Ruth chapter one. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys three things that God showed me about when the Lord causes lack so let's get into it during this four-part series feel free to read the chapter before you listen to the podcast and see what revelation I got compared to your revelation comment on this YouTube video in the comments and let me know what you got from Ruth chapter one tomorrow let me know what you got from Ruth chapter two and we could just do this four-part series together so grab your journals and let's get into it I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the story of Ruth because everybody be talking about they looking for their Boaz so I know y'all know the story of Ruth but in Ruth chapter one it starts off talking about Naomi which was Ruth's mother-in-law right and I'm going to share with you guys the three things that God allowed to stand out to me in the chapter the first thing that God allowed to stand out to me in the chapter chapter is the fact that Ruth chapter 1 verse 1 literally starts off saying in the days when the judges ruled there was a famine in the land the first thing that God showed me in Ruth chapter 1 is Ruth chapter 1 verse 1 it literally says in the days when the judges ruled there was a famine in the land and then it talks about how Naomi and her husband left Bethlehem because there was a famine a famine meaning lack meaning poverty meaning less right it was lack in the land so they left they was like we up out of here they moved to Moab in the land of Moab is where their two sons met and married Ruth and Oprah. I keep trying to call the lady Oprah. So the first thing that God showed me in Ruth chapter one is that Naomi and her husband were led by lack. And the notes that I wrote down is that God knows how to get us moving. A lot of times when we experience seasons of loss or seasons of lack, it's because God is trying to move us to something else. And he knows that as long as we get overflow in this area, as long as we get plenty or abundance in this area, we are not going to move. We're going to sit there and continue to receive. So a lot of times when we experience seasons of lack and where we experience seasons of loss and seasons where it just seems like we keep taking L after L after L it's really God trying to move you somewhere else move you to something else he's literally using that L as motivation to let you know it's more out there for you it's more that I'm calling you to do and if I allow you to keep taking W's and winning in this season you will try to stay right here because it's comfortable here so I have to allow you to experience a season of lack I have to cause a famine in the land so that I can get you to leave Bethlehem and move to Moab. So the first thing that God showed me in Ruth chapter one is when we experience seasons of loss and lack and we know a hundred percent that we didn't do anything to cause it. There are some seasons where you could say, okay, I brought this L on myself. But then there's other seasons where it's just like, God, I did everything that you asked me to do. I followed every instruction. Why do I keep taking L's? Why do I keep experiencing loss, God? Like, what is this? I've been listening to your directions, following your word. I'm still praying. I'm still fasting. I'm doing everything you said. And it seems like I'm taking L's. That's because God is trying to lead you by lack, which is the first thing that God showed me in Ruth chapter one is that sometimes we will be led by lack because God knows what to do to get us moving. And if it feels like God has removed his hand from a situation, removed his hand from a season, instead of sitting there and pouting and allowing depression or anxiety to take over, I want you to start praying and say, okay, God, it seems like you've moved on from this place. And instead of me allowing lack to rob me of my faith, show me where this lack is leading me to. So the first thing that God showed me in Ruth chapter one is sometimes we're led by lack because God knows what to do or what to remove to get us moving. 
second thing that God allowed to stand out to me in Ruth chapter 2 is in verse 16 where Ruth told Naomi where you go I will go and where you stay I will stay and this is after Naomi told Ruth look Orpha has gone back to her mother don't come with me I don't have any more sons for you to marry even if I have another son are you going to wait for him to grow up so you can marry him I don't have anything or any reason for you to cling to me go back to your mother and in verse 16 it says Ruth told Naomi where you go I will go where you die I will go so in spite of Naomi not having anything to offer to Ruth Ruth still chose to cling to Naomi and she still chose to go back to Bethlehem because that's where Ruth was going and the second thing that God showed me after reading this is that he will reveal to us the people that love us in our seasons of lack one thing about it and two things for sure everybody got your back when you in the front when you in the front everybody got your back when you up everybody got your back when you have a lot going on everybody got your back but it's in those seasons of lack it's in those seasons of loss it's in those seasons where you don't have anything to give you don't have anything to pour you don't have anything to say where God will reveal to you the people that love you and lack and in these verses Naomi was able to see that even though she didn't have anything to offer Ruth was still clinging to her Ruth was still going to her so God was allowing Naomi to see the loyalty of Ruth even in her season of lack and after God showed this to me, what I wrote down is that in seasons of lack or loss, God will reveal what people should or shouldn't be with us in the next season. See, a lot of times we get in seasons of lack or loss and we get so depressed and filled with anxiety and so filled with emotions that we don't even take the time to see what God is doing. God is leading you to somewhere else. That's why he's taking his hand off of that season. That's why you're experiencing lack. That's why you're experiencing less. But not only is he leading you somewhere else, He's revealing to you what people can go with you to that new season. It's not just about him moving you to a new season. He doesn't want you to carry dead weight with you. He said, I'm going to remove my hand off of this season and you're going to experience lag and that's going to make you get to move into the next season. I don't want to just move you to the next season and you're carrying dead weight with you. So before I move you to the next season, I'm going to show you the people that loved you in this season so that you know who you should and who you should not take with you to the next season. So so the second thing that God showed me in the book of Ruth is that Naomi was able to see that Orpha went back home with her mother because she realized, yeah, Naomi, you don't have anything to offer to me. But Ruth said, where you go, I will go. And when you die, where you die, I will die. And it doesn't matter if you have anything to offer to me or not. I'm loyal to you, even in your season of lack. And God wants to reveal to you the people or the things that are worthy of you in your seasons of abundance. It's the seasons of lack and the seasons of loss where we can have that clear clarity to see, okay, you was never here for me. Where we can have clear clarity to hear what God is speaking to us. When you're in abundance and overflow, sometimes it's hard to hear because you're so happy about everything that you got going on. But in those seasons of lack, God said, I'm leading you to a next season. And I'm also showing you who loved you and lack and who didn't. See, there's a lot of fruit that can come out of seasons of loss, and that's why the Lord allows it. The third and final thing that God showed me in the book of Ruth is verse 20 through 22, where it talks about when Naomi returned back to Bethlehem and all the people were excited and surprised to see her. Naomi said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because the Almighty has made my life very bitter. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. But what stood out to me after reading that verse is Naomi said in verse 21 that the Lord brought her back empty, but verse 22 immediately after it says they arrived in Bethlehem as the barley harvest was beginning and what God showed me is that he allows seasons of loss because he knows the level up is coming see a lot of times we think we experience L's just because God has forgotten us or God has forsaken us but after reading Ruth chapter 1 and verse 20 through 22 what God allowed me to see is that Naomi came back empty because he was about to fill her up with the harvest that was beginning in the land going back to divine timing like we talked about yesterday God was intentional with the timing that Naomi went Went back to Bethlehem it says that she arrived in Bethlehem as the barley harvest was beginning so of course you got to come back empty because if you came back full you're not gonna have any room for the harvest that's beginning right now see a lot of times we think that when we experience loss or we go through seasons of L we just want to go in our room and close ourselves up and cry but in this verse the Lord is showing us that he allows us to experience loss because he knows he's about to fill us up with something else God said to me while I was reading this 
I sent Naomi back empty because I knew I was about to fill her up with the new harvest. I'm doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? It's a new season. I'm filling you up with new fruit. You wanted to carry the old with you, but I allowed you to experience a season of lack. I allowed you to go through a season of loss because I knew that the new harvest was beginning the minute that you got there. I'm a God of divine timing and I had to empty you out in that previous season so that I can fill you up in this season. And not only did I empty you out, I also removed everybody around you that wasn't really for you. I don't want them reaping your benefits or reaping your fruit and your harvest when they weren't there with you when you were in this season of lack. So I allowed you to experience that loss. I allowed you to go through that season of lack. I allowed those people to turn their back on you because I wanted you to see the ones that loved you and lack and the ones that didn't because I knew that I was about to level you up to a new season because the harvest was just beginning. But I needed you to one, make room and two, get them people from around you if they wasn't really for you. God showed me that he allowed Naomi to experience that season of lack and loss because he knew that when she got to Moab, the harvest was just going to be beginning and she was going to experience a season of abundance. And the person that was with her, which was Ruth, also experienced a season of abundance. When we get further down in the book of Ruth, it talks about how Ruth married Boaz. But let's not forget, Ruth only met Boaz because Boaz was related to Naomi. Naomi said, we have a relative that stays here. So it was through Naomi's connection that Ruth even had favor with Boaz and God is reminding us today that when he takes us from glory to glory in new seasons the people attached to us the people connected to us will also reap the harvest so he says I allow you to go through seasons of lack because I'm making room for the new and I also allow people to be removed from you because I want you to see those who are really there for you versus those who are just there for what they can get from you. God showed me that he had to empty Naomi out so that he can make room for the new harvest and he had to get away from Naomi the people that wasn't really there for her because Oprah was only there because Naomi had a son and when she didn't Oprah left but Ruth didn't. So when you go through seasons of lack and when you question and you wonder why does the Lord allow loss, God is saying today because I lead you in seasons of loss because I'm showing you where I'm going to level you up to and I'm showing you the people that love you, but it's all starting with me emptying you. And that's today's seed. Empty me seed. Because Father God, before I enter 2024, I don't want to take any dead weight with me. Whether it's dead people or dead things, Father God, empty me. Empty me so that I can make room for the new harvest that's beginning empty me so that I can be leveled up to the abundance that you have waiting for me with your divine timing father God you know the next season that I'm going to you know the abundance that you have assigned to me so father God empty me and remove everything that can't go and also remove everybody that can't go if you're somebody that you feel like you're in a season of loss right now and you're wondering why does the Lord allow loss I'm here today as his vessel to let you know that he allows loss and lack because he knows how to get you to move to the next season and he allowed that person to turn their back on you because he didn't want them reaping when you level up in the season that he's calling you to. Empty me seed. And you can sow the empty me seed to dollar sign at Christian Pay or PayPal Zelda Christian Bay at gmail.com. That information will be in the description. Empty me seed. Father God, remove anything that needs to be removed and remove any person that needs to be removed because now I understand that when the Lord allows lack, it's because he knows what to do to lead me to the new. He knows what to do to show me whose love is really true. And he knows what to do to level me up to the abundance and the destiny that he has waiting for me empty me see because God I trust your lack over my own understanding and clarity empty me see let's pray Father God, first and foremost, thank you for waking us up and blessing us with another day. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be on this podcast. Thank you for using me as your vessel to speak on this podcast, your podcast. Father God, I want to thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice. And whoever is watching this video and experiencing a season of lack or experiencing a season of loss, I pray that this word plants a seed of new perspective. Father God, I pray that there's a shift in their mind and that they understand that your word says all things work together for our good and you are not a man that should 
you shall lie, Father God. So I pray that in this very moment, they go from feeling sad to happy, that they go from feeling depressed to expectant, that they go from feeling anxious to peace, Father God, because they know that their father sits high and look low. And even in seasons of lack, you have a new thing that's coming our way, Father God. So today we sow and we pray over the empty me seed and we say thank you, God, for the things that you've taken away. Thank you, God, for the new season that you're calling me to. Thank you, God, for the people that you have removed because I know that your plans and the steps that you have ordered for me is for my good, even when I don't see it. So, Father God, I will praise you in this season of lack. I will give you glory in this season of lack and I will wait in expectancy for my level up because I know it's on the way. You just needed to empty me so that you can make room for the new, Father God. We love you and we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Christian Bay TV and podcast. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow where I'll share with you what God showed me for the book of Ruth chapter two. Bye.